Hey tribe, welcome to HDDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and I'm 29 from the United Kingdom and this is day two of Vlogmas. Yep, I've decided to do Vlogmas. Yesterday, the 1st of December, I did an About Me vlog on my regular Sunday slot and it received such a good response, such a great response from so many of you and you all said that you really enjoyed getting to know more about me. Because the response was so good and I did enjoy it quite a bit, I decided to carry on with that and take advantage of Vlogmas and join in. So I'm aiming to do 12 days of Vlogmas as like a mini advent and I've got some really, really good videos planned which I've written down here. So if I keep looking, it's because I've written notes for today. If you haven't, go back and watch the About Me vlog. I answer 10 questions all about when I learned to crochet, my favorite things to make, my future HDDC plans, and make sure afterwards you leave a comment because I really, really want to get to know more of you. So leave your name, where you're from, when you learned to crochet, whatever else you want to share with me. I've had some really great comments. I'm using the word great a lot. I've had some really, really, lovely comments from people from the amazing tribe out there about uh, their memories of their grandmothers teaching them to crochet, how their crochet is first, and then knitters. Um, it's just been really good to realise how many other people came into the yarny world through crochet and then picked up knitting along the way. It's not just me. Um, and also, again, so many people saying to me, crochet is so underrepresented, please keep continuing to show up with your crochet. But for quite a while, I was showing up um, and trying to show more knitting because that's what's out there and that's what seems to be popular. Forgetting that I started this channel because there's so little crochet out there and I love, love my crochet. So more crochet coming to HDDC soon. In actual fact, I don't know if to tell you this now or save it. Okay, I'll tell you now. I started a blanket this morning, the 2nd of December, and I've got plans for a Christmas blanket for next year. I've got so many blanket plans. I love blankets, crochet blankets. And I will show you what I'm working on in one of the future vlogs. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications so that you can get my videos when they come out. And now let's get on with today's video. First things first, what am I wearing? All the layers. This is a store-bought um, cardigan. I wear it back to front with it buttoned up so that I can wear it as a jumper as well as a cardigan. And this little number is a jumper that I made. Let me see if I can show you. I used Aran, which is in the bamboo colorway, I believe, and I cannot remember the name of this pattern. And as I was setting up to record, I suddenly thought, I don't know, I don't know what the pattern is. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and watch my vlog where I showed you that I'd made this. This is the first um, jumper that I ever made. Uh, the first jumper I ever made was knitted. I found a free pattern um, and I do wear it quite often. It's just quite large and it slides off, but I quite like that because I just wear it as a one shoulder jumper. So for day two of Vlogmas, I'm going to tell you what Christmas means to me. Christmas to me means so many wonderful, amazing, delightful things. First and foremost, Christmas means family. It means family time. It means spending time with those that you love, both blood family and your dearest friends. It means that great big Christmas dinner on Christmas day with all the trimmings. It means laughter. It means making memories. It means spending time with those people that make your entire existence just worthwhile and amazing. It's all about, I was gonna say the pigs in blankets, but I don't really like them. So it's all about all of the trimmings on that plate. But for me, that's the roast potatoes, the mashed potatoes, the Brussels sprouts, the broccoli, the leek. I'm not so bothered about the turkey, but it has to have handmade, handmade? Yeah, homemade 
everything's got crochet terms homemade Yorkshire puddings it means that plate that's heaped up high and it means eating so much that you think that your tummy's gonna burst and then make it a little bit more room for just a little bit more and it means lashings and lashings of gravy oh. and it means curling up in front of a Christmas film with whoever it is that's there with you and eating the chocolates out of the tin until you feel that you're gonna explode and you still carry on eating. Christmas can be such a stressful time for so many people and I totally get that. It's a time where you miss loved ones that are no longer here. It can put a lot of obligation on you to see people that you don't really want to see but you feel like you're expected to see and I get there's so much stress and people in your family might not enjoy Christmas and that can put a downer on your day. Um, for me, Christmas is about finding the joy in the small things, so I love, love, love putting my tree up, which is why it's my backdrop. I normally have the lights on a calm setting, but with the YouTube studio lights, it didn't look like it was on, so I had to put the blinkers on. Um, I, For me, Christmas is having my tree on, the lights on, and watching a Christmas film. Christmas means making sure that no one is lonely. So if you have an elderly neighbour in your street, it means just checking in on them to make sure they've got plans, to make sure that they've got the food in that they wanted to get, to make sure that if they had Christmas cards they wanted to send off that you've put them in the post box for them. It just means that some people who don't have family, it means making sure that they're included in your family. It's not so much about the gifts, definitely not for me. When I was younger, I used to think it was about the gifts. I mean, I don't think I ever did. But I definitely got carried along with the, if you really like somebody, then you'll give them more to show it. Whereas that's not true. That isn't how Christmas should work. Christmas is about giving something to somebody, even if it's just your company, because usually that's the most precious thing you can give somebody. And it's about making sure that you don't stress yourself out financially to provide these gifts you make sure that you don't overextend yourself because when January comes along and the bills come in and you've got to pay the bills oh. mm -mm. nobody likes that feeling it's about making sure that if you make something for somebody they are worthy of it what's that phrase like make worthy you make sure that they're going to make all the right noises about it, they're going to use it, they're going to cherish it, they're going to look after it. And if they're not, then don't make it for them. Spend your time making for you. And that is another thing I love about Christmas. It's getting those few days off from work and crocheting. It's about planning your Christmas projects. Ugh. I love that. I love knowing that I get to come home throughout December, put my tree on, put a film on, and sit and make. I can work on whatever it is I desire, and that there's gonna be some additional days where I don't have to go to my day job, and I can sit and crochet and knit and eat all the food, all the leftovers, all the extra food, all the chocolates, everything. And for me this year, I was toying with getting an advent calendar, but I didn't. But I've already decided next year, so 2020, I will get one and I'm going to make a blanket pattern out of it. And what I thought I would do, and I can't tell you too much now, but I'm gonna get a sock box advent calendar. I'm gonna open them up and I've got a certain design in my head and I'm going to make the design, um, basically like a granny square design with the minis that I get. And then I'm gonna buy some plain, um, cream maybe or white I don't think I'm going to do black it's going to be a calm neutral colour because of all the colours that are going to be in it and I'm going to make squares out of that and combine it and make myself a huge blanket because I love making blankets and what better reason than you've got an advent calendar to use up so I'm definitely going to be doing that and I might make it into a cal, a crochet along as well so that everybody else can join in. You don't have to buy yourself an advent calendar, you can pick yarn out of your stash if you really wanted to. I might boost mine with stash yarn anyway, but I just would really like a yarn advent calendar. And I've been looking at them for a couple of years 
and I think that's really one of the things that's going to spark joy over the Christmas period for me so I'm going to indulge in that next year. Christmas is also about the lights. I just love my Christmas lights, I love my fairy lights. They are so calming, soothing and they just make they just make the cold winter nights just more bearable and more snuggly because you get to come home and you've got the heating on and the fire on and you put all of your knitwear on and your crochet wear, crochet wear and then your knitwear and you put your fluffy socks on and your blankets that you've made and your fluffy blankets and you sit there and you put a great film on and you just look at your lights and you just think, oh, it's so nice. Christmas is about sitting in front of the fire. My parents have a log fire and it's gorgeous. It's just, uh, you get that crackling sound and it's so warm. And then I have a plug-in electric fire and that kicks out its own heat and it looks really nice because it's got a little light setting. Christmas is about turning the fire on and having snuggly toes. I'm not about being cold in December, mm-mm. Christmas is also a time where, if you can, you give to those that are in need because it's very easy to forget that the basics are the necessities. Some people don't have money for food, some people can't afford to feed their families, um, some children aren't going to have advent calendars because their parents just can't afford the spare pound, they need that pound for the electricity bill. Um, some elderly people can't afford to buy everything for their Christmas dinner and even if they could they probably wouldn't they wouldn't make it because they're on their own and so Christmas is about giving it's about making um, food donations to donation to food banks it's about making sure that if you see a homeless person that you make sure that they've got a hot drink um, if they need gloves then pick up a pair even if it's from Primark and, and drop them off to them on the way next time you walk past them it's just about spreading that Christmas cheer because December can be a really dark and lonely and cold month but you can do the smallest gesture, the smallest gesture from you really can change somebody's entire outlook on December. You can be that ray of sunshine that we all need, you can be their Christmas lights and I think that's really really important and that's something that I will be showing you in my vlogs as well for Vlogmas. Um, so if you can, put some extra tins in a food donation box. Um, quite a lot of the supermarkets in the UK have a trolley as you walk in and you can donate stuff in there. So gravy, tinned potatoes, tinned vegetables, anything like that, cereal, long life milk, crackers, anything like that just to help somebody out and make their Christmas more enjoyable. Christmas. Christmas really is about giving as much as it is, if not more than receiving, and you will feel so much better about yourself for giving and helping out somebody in need. And of course, Christmas is about baby Jesus. Whether you're religious or not, that's where Christmas comes from. It, whether you're religious or not, that's where Christmas comes from, is to celebrate the birth of baby Jesus. Lots of people sing carols, lots of people go to church and just don't forget that, although it's quite commercialised now, it has a bigger meaning behind it. It's got the giving, it's got the gratitude of all of the amazing things that we have in our life and it's about helping somebody else out where possible. So Tribe, thank you for watching Vlogmas day two, almost a part two, day two of Vlogmas with HGDC. I will see you in the next video for the next instalment. If you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know what Christmas means to you. Whether you don't like Christmas or not, let me know what it means to you. I'll see you again in the next video.